Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're doing the last of the break bundle bags until I buy some more, which is a, probably in a day or two, because um, I've got some more coming. And this is the last 12 medium that I have. The next two bags that I will have will be size 14. But in this bag, you pay £5, you get a minimum 10 items. This bag has 23 items. The previous bags have been 21, 18 and 13 because she has so much excess stock she needed to get rid of that instead of having just 10 items, which is the minimum, she just loaded them up with whatever she had. I have two more 14 bags to pick up tomorrow. She also had a 16 bag and an 18 bag and she was doing more when I picked just these four up. So now... Before you ask, the bags aren't just being made big because I'm getting them. They would be big for anybody. I just happened to walk in there today and to find the bags. I hadn't found bags in there for weeks. She hadn't been doing them. She didn't have enough stuff. She's had an influx of stock. And these are stuff that haven't sold. They've been sitting on the racks. And when they don't sell, she puts them in these bags and you get them. They all have the tags on. So you know exactly how much they were selling them for. And let's find out. This is from Land's End. And it is a no shoulder, uh, no shoulder, no sleeve top in red. And you can see that it was in sale for £2.80. So you're going to see all the items. These are actually being sold on my vintage store when I get round to it. Um, but some of these are going to car boots. If we're in the UK... You can buy off my vintage store. Link is in the description. You can also check out these kind of items on my second channel, Thrifting with Raven. Link will be in the description. Come over there if you want to know more. Car booting stuff, car boots, yard sales, whatever I can find that I can show you that you can make a profit by reselling and just say and just showing you what I get from charity shops mainly because you can get some really good bargains. Now, I know some people don't like charity shops because they're second-hand goods. I don't see the problem. Saves it going to landfill, if nothing else. Next, we got from F&F &F for £3.60. Again, we've got another sleeveless thing. And is this sleeveless jumper, which you could wear in the summer when the months get cooler or autumn. And it is a really cool colour. And plus, it has a bit of glitter as well. So these bags aren't just made big because I buy them. I have bought most of the ones that have been in there because I'm the girl that gets there when they're putting them out. This is from Marks and Spencer's for £3.80. I just happened to be lucky to going into town today for some other reason or I might not have got them. I'm not taking the size 16 or 18. I am taking both the 14s that she has put aside for me. And the only reason they are put aside is because I could only carry four bags. And each of these bags are only meant to have 10 items in. And they are way heavier than that because they didn't have just 10 items. They had 18 and 20. And this one's got 23. And again, I only paid £5 for the bag. This is from TU for £2.50. We had something similar like this a while ago with this kind of mustard colour flower detailing. Obviously, someone bought it, wore it for the summer, and then went, meh, I don't know if it fits my wardrobe, which is fair enough. People change each season on their preference, and to be fair, they change each year. Next, this is Dorothy Perkins, 360. This is a beautiful white tee. It just has this, like, bobbling on the side of whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, like, plucking detailing. And it is kind of very basic, but it is that kind of warm fabric. So you could probably get away with this in like late summer, early autumn. It isn't too cold yet, so you could probably wear this indoors. Save turning your heating up, because you don't want to do that. Next, this is £3 from TU Women again. Uh, and again, it is a basic tea. It does have a keyhole detailing and it is in pink which not adverse to pink i must admit but uh not to my liking which is good because we're not keeping any of the items i keep saying that and then i find that one item and i think one item is fine to keep 
just as long as we don't keep all of them. Next, £3.60, we have this very see-through top. Not really my thing. It is incredibly see-through, and I'm not a big fan of dots. Um, it doesn't have a label or anything. If it doesn't have a label, it does go to the car boot because I can't sell it unbranded. Yeah, there's nothing. So that will go to the car boot. Anything with that label is unbranded. It just goes to a car boot. It's too much to look for it. £3.60 from TU. Again, a nice basic tee. But at the bottom, you do have a lacy detail, which just brings it up a notch from being a little bit of a basic tee. Oh, and it's got a pocket. So it's got a bit of a nautical kind of country style going on. The little flare at the bottom. Okay, next, very bright. This is 360. I have no idea where this is from, but it looks like this. It's got this little collar from, where is this one? Is it Ovis? Oasis. This is very different. Very different. It is got a stretchy, elasticated kind of bottom. Not for me. I'm gonna admit, not for me. Right, next we have a plain tee from Primark. Again, I don't sell the plain tees. I either keep them or they go to the car boot because there's no point selling them. I don't make the money. You can get these for like £1.90 and no one's going to pay for them. So I either keep them or I sell them uh, at the car boot and just make a pound back basically or 50 pence make something. Next, we have from Bon Marche. Uh, this is £3.80. This is all the prices they paid for them. And I only paid a fiver, remember. The value is astronomical today. And it's not just because it's me. Um, I was one of the first people to start buying these. And I have bought excessive amounts of them now. And me and the lady have a rapport. But these bags, you could walk in there tomorrow and buy these kind of bags and get the same amount of value. Just making you aware. This is actually break and swap them if you happen to live in Norfolk. So if you're looking for a bargain. Okay. Next we have another black staple for £3.60. They've took the tag out. But it does have this detailing. Oh, where is it? Detailing on the sleeve, you've got some buttons, you've got a little scoopy round neck. It is very simple, very classic, but it doesn't have a wash label. Oh, where is it from? It's from TU. It does have one down the bottom, so it can be sold because it has a label. We don't sell anything with that label uh, on vintage. £3.60, no label. Short little cheetah slash leopard, not sure which, I always get confused. There is a way of telling apparently, but this doesn't have a label, so it will go to the car boot and we will make 50p or a pound for it. Okay, next we have a blouse or a shirt. This is Primark again, 360 in this kind of, I want to say like an olive green. And it's got the sleeves where you can make them really long or you can have them half length. Um, and it is massive. It's kind of like one of their like Andronymous ones where it's kind of like female but masculine at the same time if you want to be a bit in the middle. Lovely colour though. Okay, next we have some peacock trousers, 36, 36. Size 12 for £3.60. These I'm actually going to try on myself. These might actually stay with me. Because if you well know, my suit trousers are generally from Peacocks. But they're Peacocks from the charity shop. And this is a size 12 and it's probably perfect for me. So these are actually going to go aside and they're actually going to be for me. <laughs> One item, not bad. So far, out of the four bags, I've only took three items for myself, and that is to try on. Uh, next, we have this massive, massive green hoodie, and it is four pounds from... Hmm. 
next? Is it next? Essentials next, yeah. So this is big and green, and it's got this massive hood, as you can well see. It's a V-neck, it's got a massive hood, and it looks so cozy and warm. It's even got pockets down here to put your hands in. I don't know if they're connecting. Oh, it's a connecting pocket. So you can put your hands in there. Lovely colour though, but I don't think it will suit me because of the V-neck. I'm really short. People with V-necks are for longer people. Not for shorties like myself. Okay, next. Oh, we're going for blue. Haven't had many blue items. This is blue. And this is from Principles. Four pounds. And we have a blue long um, t-shirt. Uh, jumper kind of thing. I might actually try this one on because it has the asymmetrical drop as well i don't know this might actually be for me it's got the asymmetrical drop it's in blue i'm gonna put that aside and try it on if it doesn't fit it'll then go back in the pile okay next we have this gorgeous top love the color and i love this detailing along the neck three pounds sixty bon Bond Beach, can't read the label, but it's in there. It's really nice. I like the pattern as well. Pattern's really nice. Do they have a wash label? They do. It says BM, Bond Beach, I think it said at the top. I like the pattern though. Pattern is really nice. Fabric's really soft. So, you know, if you're partial to an item, Next, we have, I think it's a skirt for 360. It's a skirt. And it's a very long skirt, in fact. And it's a multi layered skirt. It actually has a layering, layering skirt underneath. Really nice. Don't know where it's from. I do not see a label. If it doesn't have a label, we don't sell it. It goes to a car boo. I will have to do a bit more digging and see if I can find the label. Okay, a couple more items. Next, we have this skirt again from M&S Woman. Another skirt again. It's got this kind of flecked pattern again. It's a double layered skirt has a petticoat underneath really nice it's just not my style which is good because we've already kept enough stuff three items out of four bags isn't bad for me i don't generally keep anything i might have kept maybe 10 items out of like 15 bags that i've had so far so next we have this jumper it hasn't got the label in, unfortunately, but it does have this button detailing. Very simple little jumper, but it doesn't have a label. If I can't find where it's from, I don't sell it. It will go to car boot. Next, we have Marks and Spencer's portfolio. And this is, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Black and white, really kind of cool. More kind of mature styling, but it's actually kind of nice. I actually kind of like it. Um, it's really soft though. Gotta love the fabric on these from M&S. M&S do like the most soft fabrics ever. So that's quite nice. And then we've got one last item. And the last item is a dress. And this is huge in like cream. And this is from Topshop Moto, and they wanted six pounds for it. And it's like this tunic dress, but it's in this weird kind of feels like recyclable fabric, like Hessian feel to it. It's got that really heavy look to it, kind of like um, I don't know, like boho chic maybe. You got the pockets, you've got this. Um, corset, um, tie front, 
along the front. And yeah, it's actually really heavy. It's no wonder I couldn't carry some of this. So that was 23 items for a fiver. Unbelievable bargains from this charity shop. And like I said, I'm going to reiterate, it's not because it's me. It's not because I'm a YouTuber. I pay for all my own bags. I literally just go and pick these up. Anyone can go in there anytime and just pick up the same bags as I do with the same amount of items. This time she had more items because she was trying to get rid of some stock. Getting rid of some of the spring and summer. Getting some of the autumn stock that hadn't sold gone because they want to start moving in Christmas stuff. They want to move more coats in, more jumpers. Some of this is summer. Some of this is spring. Some of this is coming into autumn. But what they do is every couple of weeks, they take all the stuff off the racks that hasn't sold, bring all new stock down, and they bundle the stuff that hasn't sold. These four bags that I bought in this mini series, we've had 13 items, 18 items, 21 and 23. If you go back to my playlist and you watch the other videos, you will see sometimes I had 12 items, sometimes I had 10. I've done men's clothes. And I've done sizes ranging from 6 and 8 right up to 14. So I varied what I buy, the sizes that I buy, and I'm getting the same kind of value. Even if I'd have got 10 items, it's totally worth £5. Some of these items, as you can see, were worth 3 4 5 and even £6. Even one dress was the actual price at the bag. So if you want to buy any of these items, these will eventually go up on Vinted. I'll put the link to my store. If you want to buy any of these before they go on Vinted, you can just message me and we can work something out. If you want to follow my second channel called Thrifting with Raven, that will also be in the description because you don't want to miss more thrifting content coming on the second channel. Although it's not entirely disappearing from the first channel, it's just that I have so much content and so much I want to film. I need two channels. Girl, girls got to have that money coming in so more channels more monetization you can also follow me on tiktok instagram and facebook reels where i show even more stuff that i've got because there just is never enough time also the vintage store helps me out you can also donate to the channel by paypal super chat or super thanks super chats are more than welcome you can leave a message or if you want to donate to paypal link is in the description just put a comment in the actual video in the comments to say you sent a paypal because i don't always check my paper i'm a very busy girl but yeah this has been amazing i have two more bags to pick up tomorrow which are both size 14s she was making up more bags when i left so i'm gonna have a browse of probably the other bags that she's made oh dear but i am coming home tomorrow with at least two size 14s if i don't try and buy any more i have a bad habit but this is all for my business and this is all to make some extra money and by golly by buying it for five pounds and having 23 items i at least make three four times the amount i paid for the bag and you cannot get value like that by just buying stuff in a normal store but if you want to like and subscribe and a big thumbs up like I said, check out Thrifting with Raven, the new thrifting channel. Come over there if you like car boots, yard sales, bargains, <sighs> watching Raven be exhausted. And I will see you all very soon for size 14 bags. The Raven never stops. And I'll see you very soon. Love you all. Bye, guys.